Hi, I'm Stan and I want to let you in on a little solar industry secret that has helped me cut my overpriced power bills and literally change my life. Now I'm an engineer by trade and I've been, you know, building and testing all sorts of devices. I love this kind of stuff. For the last four years I've put a lot of time and a lot of effort into these tests, not to mention some real cash. Some worked, some didn't, but nothing came close to this solar energy breakthrough. I have right here in front of me, and it didn't just work for me, over 20,000 homeowners across the U.S. alone are enjoying the benefits that come with this cool little box. Now I know solar arrays are very expensive, so going solar was never on my try it out list, but all that changed when I came across a cool set of video guides on how to build this, it's called the Smart Solar Box, virtually an endless self-sustained power source that will work even if it's cloudy. And it makes a huge difference in the amount I now pay for electricity. You see, it's basically a solar power plant that fits inside a toolbox. So it's extremely versatile and portable. It can cut your power bill a power up a cabin and as a backup generator or as a generator for camping, fishing, and even emergency situations. <laughs> Basically, if you want to take it with you, just fold the two small panels, put them in the trunk along with the battery box, and off you go. No more gasoline, no more smoke, noise, and hassles from the old one. It's light, cheap, and easy to build. This one is mine. I haven't connected it to the grid, didn't want to go through all the paperwork, but I am using it to power up my garage. The door is electric, I have a lot of tools that I use daily, I have lights, an alarm system, and a small fridge, of course. And so far, I haven't seen the battery charge drop by more than half. Now that's amazing! And the best thing is, you can have your own smart solar box up and running by the end of the day. So you too will be able to shave more than half on those ever lingering power bills. Whether you hook it to the grid, power up a shed or a garage like I do, this thing will literally save you cash just by lying around. So stick with me for the next five minutes and my friend Ryan will tell you all of the nitty gritty details behind this money saving box, how it all started, and how it literally saved him and his family and friends what would have been a horrible ending. Let's see the story. That's the moment our lives changed. And no, I wasn't the one knocking. I was on the other side of the door, shocked at the sight of a grown man crying with his child laying soft in his arms, hanging by a thread almost frozen to death. But it wasn't just our lives that changed. 17,341 hard-working Americans are now living a better life with a lot more money in their pockets. Now, I know you'll think you've heard this before, and your BS senses are going off, but what I'm talking about, it's not a well-guarded secret or a never-before-seen device made by some forgotten genius inventor. It's actually something simple that thousands of people use, but in an inefficient and expensive way. Used properly, it will help you slash an excess of 70% off your power bill overnight. That's over $2,000 a year. Not only that, but it's lightweight and portable, so you can take it whenever and wherever you want. Just put it in the trunk and you're good to go. And no, you don't need a second mortgage to afford it. Actually, you'll get it up and running with just dimes on the dollar. Hi, my name is Ryan Tanner. And today you're going to learn how a simple and ingenious device saved six lives during a monstrous Wisconsin flash blizzard and turned the tide against the corporate fat cats once and for all. I'm guessing you might have seen on the news the sheer power Mother Nature unravels during the cold Wisconsin winters, or you might have experienced it yourself. Any way you turn it, it's nothing you can take lightly, and almost always catches you off guard. I've seen with my own eyes how a bright sunny sky darkens in a matter of minutes. Temperatures drop by 30 and 4 feet of snow impairs 21st century technology, sending everyone in the dark ages in a matter of hours, because that's where we'd be without light and warmth. 
The whole money in the world won't help you. No gov will protect you. Chances are, when disaster strikes, 99% you'll face it alone. So only one thing can make the difference between starving and being fed, freezing and being warm, light and darkness, and that's being prepared. And with today's response in disaster situations, you might be looking out the window, freezing both inside or outside, or even worse, for up to a week. Remember how fast action was taken during the Katrina disaster or the 2011 blackout? I think they're still hauling aids and supplies there, not knowing five years have passed. So who's your best bet? The government or yourself? I lost the bet on the Gov once, and six people almost lost their lives. Only a simple contraption made the difference between life and death. And it's something each and every one of us should have. Because no matter where you live, north, south, east, or west, Mother Nature always has something that can turn your life upside down. Tornadoes, hurricanes, blizzards, floods, you name it. And Gov officials are only going to watch it in awe. Or, God forbid, count the bodies on live TV. Imagine the toughest, coldest winter. Four feet of snow as your eyes can see. You get through it somehow. But when spring comes, you won't be happy and joyful like you see in the movies. Because all that snow melts. And flash floods will be knocking at your door. You have to be prepared round the clock. So I think it's time everybody started caring for themselves. And I'm not talking about massive stockpiles. Sure, you could do that. But actually, all you need is a well-equipped and stocked kitchen, a good heater or AC unit, and green electricity. This is something that can save your life and your loved ones around you. Six people are still here today to tell the tale. And 17,341 hardworking patriots are now making the Big E picking up the tab. Here's what some of my close friends had to say about it. At first, I was a bit skeptic when it came to solar. I thought it was too expensive. But my wife pushed me to give your system a try. I'm glad I did because it works like you said it would. Thank you. Steve B., Dallas, Texas. Clean cut video guides. Haven't seen anything like this in a while. I got everything I needed from the first trip to the store. That's what I hate most. Second trips were supply and parts. Thankfully, this wasn't the case. I shorted the bill by 52% and I'm proud of it. Big thanks from Boston. So stick with me for a couple of minutes and I'll let you in on all the nitty gritty details you need to know. As I said, my name is Ryan Tanner. I'm a 52-year-old mechanic from Milwaukee, happily married for 27 years and raised two beautiful daughters. The story I'm about to share started two years ago in a cold October afternoon. I was raking leaves in my backyard when I saw my wife slamming the back door and running towards me. I knew something was wrong. Honey, your father, he's dead. I couldn't move for a moment. Shocked. It must be a mistake. I talked to him on the phone a couple of hours ago. But it was no mistake. God, how I wish it was. He felt he couldn't breathe, so he called the ambulance, unlocked the door, and lied on the bed waiting. And that's how they found him 40 minutes later. The paramedics tried their best, but it was too late. He was pronounced dead at the scene. I was devastated. We all were. But we had to face the facts and try and move on. What's worse, foreclosure notices started pouring in from the bank. We couldn't cover his debt. So we agreed on selling his cabin in the mountains where he lived. I talked to the girls and planned a last farewell trip to the cabin before selling it. It was late November, but the sun was still a bit warm, so we didn't pack thick clothing. We were going only for the weekend, after all. We arrived in the evening, lit up the fireplace, made a few sandwiches, and started talking, remembering all the beautiful times we had there, sadly thinking it was all over. The hours passed, and we didn't notice it started snowing outside. When we did, my first thought was, we're stuck here. But then again, it was November. How hard can it snow? 